Okay, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how we can create some green screen effects using Final Cut Pro. Now you can see this is the uh, this is the video that I produced uh, for the demo. Okay, so you can see all the different layers, and that's the great thing about Final Cut Pro. You can actually layer as many things as you want to layer, which is something you can't do with iMovie. So it takes it to one step further. So let's create a new project. Okay, so I'm in this temp projects library. Let's go up and create a new project. Now to do that, the best way to do it is creating a new event. So I'm going to click new event and I'm going to call this green screen. And this is FCP Final Cut Pro. And, and then we can click and we want to create a new project here. So let's click OK. And then we can see here, there's our green screen project. Let's title this uh, green screen CP. Okay, so now what we need to do is import our media. So what I've got is some media here. So let's go to import and let's click on media. And if I scroll down, there's my desktop at the bottom and I need the space. Eiffel Tower, the same things that we wanted for our iMovie, and then we can import them all. Okay, so now we have our different media imported. All right, so now what I need to do is start cr start creating this. Now the difference between this and iMovie is I can just drag my green screen into the timeline. So let's do the Eiffel Tower first. I'm gonna take the, the whole thing and place it in there. I'm going to use this slider at the bottom here and just move this slider along. Um, in fact, let me make this full screen so it gives us a bit more room and we can drag this slider along and as you can see it's staying the same time but it's just allowing us to zoom in a little bit. Now the first thing I want to do is I want to get rid of this microphone again that we've got here. So I'm going to click on crop, crop there and crop to there and drag it maybe to about there and then click done. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to take my image of the Eiffel Tower and let's drag this image in and put it underneath. All right, um, now at the moment you can see nothing. It's, it's, we haven't done anything to the background of the green screen. So I'm just gonna drag this back and you can see it's clipped straight in so we can, we can both clips are actually the same length. So let's do something with this green screen. Um, I want to go over to this button here and I'm gonna click on that and then I'm gonna go down to key in. I want to do key and drag the key into this particular clip. And there you can see it's now taken out the green. So you need to click done. And now you can see here we have this shadow and I want to get rid of this shadow. So we need to click on sample color here and you can see that there's a crosshair there. So let's just take out the shadow by dragging the crosshair here. And it, fortunately it's done everything that we need. There is an edge tool here if we wanted to just to be a little bit more specific on some of the edges of my jumper here and trousers and possibly around my head. Okay, so we can be we can refine this as much as we want. We've also got other options here where we can fill the holes. If I drag that, you can see the holes. You can see the, 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 the screen is coming in the background here, but I'm gonna just move that back to where it was, possibly to about there. And again, the edge distance, we can move this to adjust the green screen much more professionally. There's lots more detail that you can do within Final Cut Pro than, than what you can do on iMovie. Okay, so now we can see as we play this. Okay, so we're at the top of the Eiffel Tower here. So now let's put our next one in. So this is where we are running. So let's uh, put our green screen in here. And this is where we are running. But what I want to do this time, I'm going to crop this and bring this in a little bit. So uh, let's crop it first by clicking on crop. And remember, we don't want to trim, we want to crop. And then let's just crop out that microphone and then click done. And now what I want to do is I want to transform this and I'm just going to make it much smaller and then bring it down the bottom so I don't lose my legs. 
And now let's bring in the train footage. So let's take the footage here and put it underneath. But obviously we've got to get rid of the green. So we want to select the clip that we want to key. So let's drag the key in. There you can see it's taken out the green. All right, so what I also want to do is I want to make sure, let's click on done there. And I just want to make sure that those shadows are coming out as well. So I'm just going to drag that over there like so. And you can see those shadows have now disappeared. Okay, so I could do a little bit more with that if I wanted to. Now when I play this. Okay, so I don't want all of this footage here where I'm talking without running. I want to take it where I'm running. Now this is where it also differs from iMovie. So I can click on B, which will be the key to do a break. And then this is like a blade. So you can click on the blade. So we can't move this because it's actually attached. So I'm just gonna drag it along here. This is the easiest way. Just press delete and then drag that back. Okay, and we can get rid of the rest of the footage here as well by clicking at the end, press the break button, the blade button. So now we can delete this and we can delete this black bit as well. And now you can see that we've got our footage. There we go, there's me running in front of the train. If we wanted to do a little bit more editing now and get rid of these bits here of the train, okay, what we can do is we can crop that as well. So let's take that and I want to crop and then move that in like so. And there we go. That's a little bit better. Oops. Click on done. And that's a bit better. So let's have a look play now. There we got our train. Okay. So that's how we can start editing and using green screen in Final Cut Pro. There's plenty of other things that you can do. Um, so if you want to know how to do that, then please message me or put some messages in, in YouTube and then we can create some videos on how to do other things in Final Cut Pro.